a Supreme Court justice, a dame of the British theater, beloved singers, and athletes. These are the stories of the lives we lost in September 2020. Actor Yuko Takeuchi captured the hearts of fans as a modern-day female Sherlock Holmes in the HBO Hulu series Miss Sherlock, set in Tokyo. Takeuchi, who also co-starred in the original version of the horror movie Ring, died September 27th at the age of 40. Stevie Lee was a pro wrestler who went by the name Puppet the Psycho Dwarf. He was also an actor who appeared in Jackass 3D, American Horror Story, and Oz the Great and Powerful. And he was a motivational speaker who talked about growing up with dwarfism. He died September 9th, reportedly of a heart attack at the age of 54. Tommy DeVito was one of the original Four Seasons, the superstar vocal group whose 1960s hits included Sherry and Big Girls Don't Cry. Their story and their songs were given new life in the Broadway musical Jersey Boys. DeVito died September 21st from COVID-19 at the age of 92. Gail Sayers was the youngest NFL player ever inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. In his seven seasons with the Chicago Bears, he was named to five All-Pro first teams. And his friendship with teammate Brian Piccolo was commemorated in the movie Brian's Song. Sayers died September 23rd from complications of dementia and Alzheimer's at the age of 77. Jackie Stallone was a world-famous astrologer who specialized in rumpology, the clairvoyant reading of a person's rear end. The mother of Sylvester Stallone, Jackie also performed in the 1980s wrestling show Glow, which was recently adapted into a Netflix series. She died September 21st at the age of 98. Mike Sexton was called the ambassador of poker. For 14 years, he served as one of the World Poker Tour's TV commentators, and he won over $6 million in tournaments before retiring to become the chairman of the online gaming platform Party Poker. He died September 6th from prostate cancer at the age of 72. Joe Laurinaitis was one half of the champion wrestling tag team, first called the Road Warriors, and then the Legion of Doom. He was also the father of former NFL linebacker James Laurinaitis. As Road Warrior Animal, Joe Laurinaitis was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2011. He died September 22nd of natural causes at the age of 60. Edna Wright was the lead singer of the R&B group Honeycone, known for their 1971 hit, Want Ads. She also performed as a backup singer for Ray Charles, U2, Cher, and Aaron Neville. And she was the younger sister of singer Darlene Love. Wright died September 12th of a heart attack at the age of 76. Ronald Bell was one of the co-founders of Cool in the Gang, along with his brother and their childhood friends. He wrote some of the group's biggest hits of the 1970s and 80s, including Jungle Boogie, Ladies Night, and their most enduring hit, Celebration. Bell died September 9th at the age of 68. Kevin Dobson was an actor best known for his roles in two TV hits. On Kojak, he played Detective Bobby Crocker for the show's entire five-season run and he won five Soap Opera Digest Awards for his performance as Mac McKenzie on Knott's Landing. Dobson died September 6th from complications of an autoimmune deficiency at the age of 77. Kentucky Chris Ellis was a star of the Discovery Channel show Street Outlaws. He was an auto mechanic featured in the first season of the reality series, which focused on American street racing. He continued to make appearances in later seasons of Street Outlaws. Ellis died September 9th at the age of 39. Keith Huffnagel was a legendary East Coast skateboarder. He founded Huff Worldwide, a streetwear store and fashion line that offered sneakers and activewear, as well as sponsoring a skateboarding team. Huffnagel died September 24th of brain cancer at the age of 46. Sue Nichols Makiorski was an animation artist for Disney. 
Her art and concepts influenced the character design in beloved Disney classics like Mulan, The Lion King, The Princess and the Frog, and many more. Makiorski also won an Emmy Award for her work on Jim Henson's Muppet Babies. She died September 1st of metastatic breast cancer at the age of 55. Terry Goodkind was a best-selling fantasy author known for his Sword of Truth series. The series began with his 1994 debut novel, Wizard's First Rule, which sold for a record-setting price, and he was still going strong when he published his most recent, 2020's Heart of Black Ice. Goodkind died September 17th at the age of 72. Malcolm Nettingham was one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen, the elite black pilots and support staff who served in the U.S. Army Air Corps in World War II and were honored with the Congressional Gold Medal in 2007. Nettingham was a radio operator and gunner who was part of the first integrated flight radio communications class. He died September 14th at the age of 101. George W. Biggs was also a Tuskegee Airman, one of an ever-dwindling group of greatest generation heroes. He flew as a navigator in World War II, and when the war was over, he re-enlisted in the U.S. Air Force as a non-commissioned officer. Biggs helped integrate his Air Force base, and he went on to serve in Korea and Vietnam. He died September 19th at the age of 95. Jay Johnstone was a Major League Baseball outfielder with the Dodgers and the Yankees. He won two World Series, one with the Yankees in 1978 and again with the Dodgers in 1981. Johnstone was known for his legendary pranks in the clubhouse, keeping his teammates on their toes. He died September 26th from complications of COVID-19 at the age of 74. Lou Brock was a legendary outfielder for the St. Louis Cardinals. He helped lead the team to World Series victories in 1964 and 1967, and he was a six-time All-Star and a Hall of Famer. Brock was known for stealing bases. He broke Ty Cobb's stolen base record and is now second in league history with 938 steals. Brock died September 6th at the age of 81. Pamela Hutchinson was a singer with the R&B group The Emotions, along with her sisters. They won a Grammy Award for their joyful 1977 chart-topping disco hit, Best of My Love. The Emotions also collaborated with Earth, Wind & Fire for the 1979 hit, Boogie Wonderland. Hutchinson died September 18th at the age of 61. Toots Hibbert was a legend of reggae music as the lead singer for Toots and the Maytals. They helped bring reggae to an international audience with songs including Pressure Drop and 5446, That's My Number. And Hibbert was the first singer to ever use the word reggae in a recording. Introducing the term to the world in the 1968 Maytal song, Do the Reggae. He died September 11th at the age of 77. Mac Davis was a singer-songwriter known for his own hits as well as for enduring classics he penned for others. He wrote In the Ghetto, Memories, and A Little Less Conversation for the King of Rock and Roll, Elvis Presley. And Davis topped the charts himself with Baby Don't Get Hooked on Me in 1972. He died September 29th following heart surgery at the age of 78. Helen Reddy became a feminist icon when she released her powerful 1972 number one hit, I Am Woman. From the song's very first lines, I am woman, hear me roar, she energized the women's liberation movement. The Australian-born singer had follow-up hits including Delta Dawn and Angie Baby, and she starred in the Disney movie Pete's Dragon. Reddy died September 29th at the age of 78. Diana Rigg was an icon of the 60s thanks to her unforgettable performance as Emma Peel in the British spy series The Avengers. Rigg made Emma Peel stylish, tough, and brilliant, a scientific genius who could always dominate in a fight. Am you're, I formidable? You're very formidable, but you are the sweetest, most wonderful, formidable woman I think I know. Oh, goodness. Now, where, where am I formidable? <laughs> no, I'm joking. You're really? Not, no, you're not oh, formidable. You're, I don't you're, think I am. The illustrious career that followed the Avengers included a Tony Award for Medea and a turn on Game of Thrones. Rigg died September 10th of cancer at the age of 82. 
Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a giant of the U.S. Supreme Court. She was the second woman and the first Jewish woman appointed to the highest court in the land. Not very long ago, the only way to distinguish the justices, at least in appearance, was to separate the bearded from the close shaven. Ginsburg became a superstar to the political left as she wrote notable rulings and work to advance women's rights, earning the affectionate nickname, the notorious RBG. Ginsburg died September 18th of metastatic pancreatic cancer at the age of 87.